So far, so good. I just not. I just have to not throw, or I'm gonna have to like stop and try this later. <laughs> Nothing will put me in a shittier mood. Let me tell ya. Be fucking serious! Hello YouTube, this is the Booty Warrior, and yeah, a pre-recorded video. It's been a while since we did one of these bad boys, but I thought it would be the most appropriate for this kind of video, this kind of content. That way if I fuck up and die, you don't have to watch me constantly redo it on stream. But yeah, I'm bored, it's midnight, I got work later in the afternoon tomorrow, and I was like, you know what, screw it, let's uh, play some Halo 1 and see if I can't get through the library without dying. What could possibly go wrong? But this is probably one of the easiest videos to do it in, to be completely honest. Because for the most part, this is a pretty straightforward level. I just have to avoid... Basically, the thing about this level and how you get through it without dying is just to try to play it slow. Like, if you ever try to rush through anything, you will get fucked up. And you could argue that's kind of a thing about Halo on Legendary in general. This is Legendary, right? Yeah. <laughs> just double-checking. But uh, this level in particular really forces you to play slow. Because I don't think the waves come indefinitely. I might have a little bit of trouble with the more hit scanny type enemies. Or I guess really the more ranged enemies in general. Now what's sick about the flood in this game compared to the other games... Well actually I guess Halo 3 is pretty good about this too, but... Like in Halo 2, it's pretty unforgiving as far as like the weapon variety goes. Like you really have to use very specific kinds of weapons if you want to kick the Flood's ass in Halo 2. Like, even on Heroic, you can feel the difference. You can feel it real bad. We are near the oh, shit. I forgot about that. I always forget about those guys around the corner there. Just try to use cover as best as we can. Throw a couple grenades here and there. The other thing you gotta be careful about is try not to be too close to the bodies when you're fighting the Flood. You're just gonna get a- like, at least if you plan on using any kind of, uh, grenades. Because it's very easy to get fucked up by grenades when you're fighting the Flood. Because it's not always clear whether or not there's grenades near them. Because, you know, the grenades are basically flesh color, just like the Flood themselves. And you can kind of tank the flood here and there. Uh, I think I'm... I'm gonna try to use the magnum a little bit longer. I'm gonna actually try to be smart about the weapons. Because even though you can technically use pretty much anything against the flood, I actually want to play it as safe as possible. So I'm probably never gonna use the needler on this particular run. And I'm not entirely sure how the waves on the flood work on this level. I just know it can take a long time for them to disappear. <laughs> and I'm getting low on magnum ammo, so I'm gonna switch over to this. Definitely one of the best weapons against the flood. Actually, who am I kidding? It is the best weapon against the flood, period. The energy field above contains the index. And you gotta be wary about the fully coming back up. And the assault rifle is kind of okay against combat forms, but obviously it takes a while to kill them with it. Sometimes I like to empty an extra shell into the flood just to play it as safe as possible. And you can not take some of the damage, just be very wary about your shield and your health and all that. And this first part, I would say, is pretty... It's not too bad, for the most part. 
Okay, now it's starting to get dangerous. But thankfully, you can usually melee these guys without actually having to expend any of your ammunition. They're usually pretty predictable about how they hit you. Uh oh. Let's back up. Sometimes I just like to get really lazy and just let them hit me. <laughs> Instead of, like, actually trying to time out my, uh... Melee attacks properly. Now I'm hoping someone here will drop a shotgun. Ah, uh, here we go. Those guys can be pretty dangerous, but it's usually kind of random, to be honest. Now, the Flood are very unpredictable as far as, like, using weapons. Because sometimes they'll just run at you no matter what. Like, this guy was kind of... Like, the last shotgun flood we fought which is kind of running into us. And... See, I kind of figured there was probably a frag grenade there because I saw something that kind of resembled one but I wanted to play it safe. And basically, I think this wave will eventually get drained. Okay, that works. <laughs> He needed a second to really notice us. Okay, so now we're gonna play it safe. Ah, oh, shit. And usually when the Flood are running at you, the best way to avoid them is just to jump backwards. Because their range on their melee attack is deceptively long. I think maybe there's like a trigger line here too. Like a borderline that we're interacting with that causes the flood to spawn. And try to use cover as much as you can. And those guys in particular are a huge pain in the ass. So right now I'm actually going to back off. I'm hoping this won't take too long, because I do gotta... I wanna try not to spend too much time playing a video game instead of getting sleep, but we'll see. So I'm actually gonna switch over to Plasma, and that's probably a better option against the Flood in general. Now before we move on, it looks like this wave has been drained. <laughs> Why does my brain instantly go to balls being drained when I think of something being drained? <laughs> Oh, good lord. Booty, please. Fuck my mind. I mean, the Needler isn't completely useless against the Flood, but it's not really something you want to use against more than, like, a couple Flood at once. The Assault Rifle is probably the best when it comes to popping the uh, infection forms, but... The Plasma Pistol can do that, and it's better for clearing out combat forms. Because the Flood in this game are very susceptible to Plasma damage, which makes a lot more sense to me than, like, typical bullets, to be honest. Because with Plasma, it's like, yeah, it's melting them. I remember being so disappointed as a kid when, uh, they nerfed Plasma super hard in that game. Like, it's still kind of useful against Elites, and that's about it. You give me too much credit. 343 Guilty Spark. One thing that is very annoying about this game that I really wish they would fix, to be honest, is, uh... The way that projectiles magnetize the targets is really annoying. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to turn it off. And it's, it's especially noticeable whenever you're using projectile weapons. Like plasma. Rockets, I don't think it does it at all, and I don't think it has any effect on... <coughs> oh shit, I gotta back up. Ah, shit. Okay, we gotta back up. Oh, shit. Alright, we're gonna play this a little bit slower. We're not gonna go quite that far. 
We gotta find the trigger point. I don't know, man. Shotgun's pretty good. It's pretty OP. In all seriousness, I actually really don't want these uh, grenades to get wasted too much because they are very useful in crowd control, obviously. I'm hoping not too much of this is going to be trial and error. Now, another bonus about using plasma weapons that I kind of forgot about is... Um... Okay, we're backing up. The fact that it actually kind of staggers them. Not for very long, only a second, but still very, very useful. Ah, shit. I mean, the fewer grenade procs, the better, right? And I think I'm gonna keep using the Magnum and the shotgun combination specifically for about as long as I possibly can. Because I probably don't really need anything for clearing out infection forms. These little sections always annoy me when I get to them because it's like really awkward waiting on the, uh, the infection forms to herp and derp their way to you. You can't really hit them until they're cleared out. Or they come out, rather. Now this is one of the hardest parts, because this is where the Flood like to just constantly come in over and over and over, and it's really fucking tedious. And even to this day, no matter how many times I play this, it's never... Like, I'm not clear on whether or not the Flood actually stopped spawning or not. Now I'm hoping... At least in that little gunshot triggers them, but I guess it won't. Oh wait, never mind, there we go. I gotta get good at dodging that somehow. And yeah, kiting for the win, man. Dude, how sick would it be if one of these things just fell directly into the hole? Then I wouldn't have to put up with their shit. It's always satisfying to punch those infection forms, though. Keep them in line. And yeah, we're just kind of edging ourselves forward. Could be risky, but I wanna... Oh shit. Try to work with the, uh, the shotgun here. Oh, come on. I'm gonna back up. It's starting to get a little bit out of control. Another thing that's annoying about the infection forms in this game is uh, how good they are at like tanking your shots, especially with a shotgun, because like sometimes you'll try to hit the combat forms with the shotgun, and the infection form just happens to jump into your fucking face as you're doing it. Totally cock blocks you. Yeah, the magnum enemies are actually some of the most dangerous. Try to wait until all the grenades are crocked before you go in. Wait for all the explosions to end. That's a good habit against the flood. Oh, is there not actually that many waves on this particular section? Yeah, no shit. I can see it, man. Yeah, I guess it's just not that bad in the beginning. They just fucking spam you relentlessly and it gets really tedious. I'm, I'm probably gonna try to hit them on the uh, weapon arm, but it's gonna be kind of difficult. Oh man, that was sick. That was some. Oh god, that was dangerously close to a frag grenade. I actually cringed, man. 
Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna use this combination as much as I possibly can. Oh my god. And try to just run to the nearest cover whenever you see something with a projectile. Alright, cool, an overshield power up. I always wish they did power ups more often in the Halo games. Come on, hit me, bro. Get it over with. This is another spot where a lot of flood can just pour in, but I'm not sure if this is actually the part I'm thinking of. Because, uh, obviously this level is very repetitive, so it's hard to tell which spawn point is particularly bad. Okay, fuck it, I'm throwing a grenade there. Goodbye grenades, wherever thou art. But I actually want to hold on to my overshield as long as possible. I think the overshield slowly drains. I don't remember. I usually get it drained so quick that I don't even have time to process how the mechanics of it work. And actually, come to think of it, I should be not tanking the infection forms here. I should be trying to keep up my overshield as long as possible. This installation's research facilities are most impressive. Oh yeah, that's another thing that happens that the Flood love to do on this level, is uh, they like to spawn behind you. So whenever you're walking up to a wave, always like check behind you just in case. I guess I can use this for clearing the infection forms. It's not efficient, but whatever. Okay, that was way too close. Don't do that, guys. It's actually really fucking stupid and dangerous. <laughs> Because I'm not clear on whether or not there's frag grenades near the bodies. And it's not any easier on the, uh... Anniversary graphics either. I guess we can play a little bit of this with the Anniversary. I have mixed feelings about the Anniversary on this particular level. Because it's like, on the one hand... I mean, I guess I can see what they were trying to do. Maybe. Like, I imagine the thought process with, like, designing this area is, oh, this level is notoriously repetitive. So let's just throw in every color of the fucking rainbow so it's a little bit less repetitive. But, um... I really like the darker tone and the more consistent tone of the library and classic graphics. Because it's dark and it's creepy like it's supposed to be. Oh, that guy is such a noob. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh! oh that actually kind of sucks for me. It's actually very hard to tell whether or not you even dodge needle, needle shots in this game. And man, the Flood are very fucking dumb. That kind of sounded like it might have been a shotgun. And sh oh shit. And there's my overshield. Feels bad. One thing I will say is the flood themselves look incredible on the anniversary version. I mean, there's something that looks kind of off about the infection forms. I don't know if it's just me. I hear that the anniversary graphics are trying to work directly off of the original polygons of Halo 1. So maybe that's why the infection forms look really janky here. There's something about the shape of it just doesn't look right. I mean, the, the general visual design of the infection forms is great. And I like the sound effects when the carrier forms pop. I, I can't... It's hard to hate too much on the anniversary version, because it does have a lot of problems as far as, like, misunderstanding the intent of Halo 1. But it's also one of the first remakes 
of a video game that I can think of anyway. So, it's like you kind of got to give them a little bit of slack. It's not like 343 didn't care. This was like their first big project, if I recall. Before Halo 4, there was uh, this remake. On a technical level, for the most part, I'd say it looks great. I don't think it really ages that poorly. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh shit, he's got a frag grenade, I want that. I don't know if these particular sentinels follow you throughout the level, so I don't know if it actually matters if you keep them alive or not. Like, let me see. They're probably gonna get killed, but... Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Just one of those things where it's like the longer I look at it, the less fucked up it looks. God, that's so creepy. They're so thick. You know, I wouldn't be against like a remake of a remake, but it's pretty unlikely. 343 is probably going to stop making Halo games after Infinite anyway. As much as I would love to see a more appropriate remake of Halo 1, maybe it would be too much. Wow, is that enough in carrier forms? I mean, what the fuck? Dude, I remember getting killed by those things, like, flying all over the place so often. It used to piss me off so much. What? Oh shit. Can you see that? Oh my god, pop up, go away. Ugh, somehow I... Somehow I, like, clicked some button on Windows, made a weather thing appear, it was really annoying. Dude, I haven't even taken any health damage, that's sick. And this is one of the first really difficult areas. So I'm going to play it super slow, because it's... I remember you get kind of swarmed here, and I don't want to make it this far just to fucking die randomly. It's going to take out everything from range, play it safe, play it smart. Let the Sentinels do the cleanup on the infection forms. And I might actually be pushed up way too far. Oh man, that's not good. We're running. We're running like a bitch, man. <laughs> wow, so threatening. A flood with no arms. Give me a fucking break, bruh. Oh yeah, another thing. This is kind of a problem with Halo 2 Anniversary as well, but... One thing that's always annoyed me about these remakes is usually the particle effects are, like, so aggressive, they actually, like, get in your way. Like, they're fucking blinding you. Like, compare this, so quick, so simple, to this. It's like a fucking, just a clusterfuck of particle effects. It's like it looks nice, but it's not really that practical. And I think this is safe. Yeah. I guess as long as Spark is there, it's probably fine. So I guess that wasn't too bad. But that that's the kind of thing where it's like, if you try to stay in that area, it's not impossible to survive. Because sometimes, like, the way that the Flood will aggro will benefit you in such a way that you get away with it. But, uh... It's very difficult. And I guess there's no Rocket Launcher Flood on this particular section quite yet. I have to try my best to not panic shoot. Thankfully, the rocket launcher flood in this level are pretty forgiving. Like, this is an open area, so... Like, in general, this level is very, very open, so it's very difficult for the rocket launcher flood to kill you if you react to it. Okay, and before I fucking die to a rocket launcher flood, but usually their locations are pretty predictable, so... I think it'll be fine. The 
I believe only the elites carry the uh, rocket launchers on this level, though. Which is kind of weird. You'd think the human flood would carry rocket launchers. But I think in some levels they do. I don't really remember all those details, but I think usually in the other Halo games... I don't even remember Rocket Launcher Flood in Halo 3. I don't even think they were in Halo 3, but... I definitely know they were an issue in Halo 2. Well, I guess they didn't really pop up that often, but... Yeah, frag grenades are your best friend against the Flood. Uh-oh. There's my support. I remember as a kid being so dependent on those sentinels to get shit done. And I would always like be shit in my pants as soon as all my sentinels died. I was like, oh god, no. Yeah, when I was a kid, I remember this level genuinely being really scary. And this part's pretty chill. You don't really have to put up with anything here. You were scaring me. Let's go back to the old graphics for a little bit. Yeah, screw it. Commit me, Flood Daddy. I remember at one point thinking, like, man, it's so impressive being able to punch the Flood in melee range. The timing must be so precise. It's not really that precise. I think you can still kind of do it in Halo 2, but the AI will, like, aggressively try to dodge you. Wow. Nice meme! Look, I'm teabagging the flood, bruh. Okay. Okay, there's something coming. Oh god, the flood are cooming. safe. I remember thinking it was so cool to be able to blow up their limbs, too. I mean, it's still cool, but... Okay, yeah, this is one of those terminals I gotta go into, and... Man, I didn't even... Wow, you can't even see... You can barely see that fog. I always wish that they, like, did more with the, the flood in this game as far as, like, showing what happens when they take over the atmosphere. In Halo 2, it was pretty cool seeing them, like, establish growths on the wall and stuff. Oh, wait, is there something behind me? Yeah, the colors in this level are just kind of all over the place. Alright, let's see how many of these guys I can kill from range before I gotta fucking run. Okay, I'm running. <laughs> Usually the Covenant, or the combat forms won't follow you too deep in here, though. Generally. I quite like the music of this level, too. I think it's pretty effective in, like, establishing an atmosphere. Okay, whatever, man. Okay, this is- I'm getting fucking wrecked by these things. Okay, this sounds like there's carrier forms, like, right- oh. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. A couple shells ain't gonna kill no one, man. Wow, that kind of came out of nowhere. What's up, Spark? Well 
You know, so far we've been doing okay on this level. Like, we haven't died in a while. I'm hoping it won't actually take that many attempts. I don't trust... See, that's why you don't trust that part. Now, you aren't guaranteed safe, because sometimes they can fuck you up anyway. Oh, no. Oh! Flying melee attack. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, thank god the AI stopped working. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I guess the only real sacrifice of not using a more, like, fast-paced weapon is it's a little bit more tedious to kill the infection forms than normal. Yeah, they trigger as soon as you touch that. Okay, so I actually want to save those. Okay, let's try... This can be very risky, but I really want to fucking move on. Oh, God. Dude, why aren't my fucking shotgun shells going through? What the fuck was that? How did none of my fucking shotgun shells go through? That did not make any fucking sense. Was that a bug? Alright, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and apparently one of the floods I killed earlier had a rocket launcher. So yeah, I guess there was a rocket launcher flood in one of those uh, earlier sections. Wow, nice audio, 3 for 3. And yeah, I'm gonna be playing it in slower roar now. That's all that I learned from that experience. I don't even know if I want to risk, like, going forward even now, like, with the rocket launcher. It just might not be fucking worth it. Got a couple frag grenades to work with, at least. You know, I want to see how long these waves spawn, honestly. Let's go down here. Because maybe they don't actually last that long. And I'm just fucking impatient. Lower him down here. Can I hide? Yeah, actually I can. Cool. Oh no, don't set off the grenades. Oh, thank god. Because I think there's probably grenades in there. <laughs> Is that a grenade? No. What about that? What about this? Oh, there's a grenade. Oh, it's so hard to tell whether there's, like, carrier forms or... Infection forms in the area. Because they both make the same noise. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm, I'm pushing through again. Now, I believe there actually are a rocket launcher flood behind this. Oh, fuck this. Oh, God. I don't want to die, man. I've made it so far. I'm gonna try using the plasma rifle to, like, stagger some of them. Because I thought I could push forward there, but I guess not. Yeah, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> That's a common glitch in this game. Let's hope that rocket launcher asshole doesn't fucking chase me in here. I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. Especially in here. 
It was like the worst possible place I could have to deal with that. Alright, we're just gonna wait it out a little bit longer. Because I do not... At least I killed the carrier for him, so maybe it won't be too hard to push forward, but... I'm gonna wait it out anyway. Hmm. I don't see any more combat forms. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna clean this up before I push forward because I want to make sure nothing gets in my way when I try to kill that guy. cool thing is, once you knock them out, they aren't going to pick it up again. And I think I'm actually going to hang on to this. Uh-oh. Come on, you ugly motherfuckers. Oh, I'm so happy to see you again, Monitor. What is that? More shotgun shells, maybe? Yeah. Gotta keep an eye out for that shit, bruh. I hope we can get a med kit before too long. Because this is not a good situation. But at least we got a little bit further in. So that's good. Oh wait, yeah. This is one of those parts where they constantly come out over and over. Hoping no carrier forms come over here. Might as well get the free plasma grenade right there. Just to make my life a little bit easier. Oh shit. Ah oh, man, I just fucking threw that so hard. Alright, we good? Nuh-uh. You're a dumb dumb spark. Eat a dick. Come on, I want you talking shit, brah. Uh-oh. Dude, these guys are like literally spawning out of thin air right now. As long as there's no combat forms, I, I guess I don't care that much. And I think these guys will actually trap you too. Like, if you ignore them, they'll fucking chase you all the way to that corner, which I believe is a section where you need to like... Hold out until the monitor comes back. Oh wait, no, this ain't the part. But that is a part you have to be wary of. I think you can safely ignore these guys and not have to worry about anything.
Oh, it hit us? Or did it? I guess not. I don't want to ride the elevator. If anything, that's like the safest part of the game, man. Now, thankfully, I know a couple exploits I can get us through some of the more challenging areas of the game. I'm just gonna draw their aggro. One other thing I'll say about the anniversary graphics is the sound design is really good. Like, it's incredible. Oh wait, is this already, like, one of those parts where I need to go down? I guess so. Take your time, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, I should probably be a little smarter about that. And I want to save the rockets for absolute emergency situations. Like, in an ideal world, I want to have several of these bad boys fucking charged up for the latest portions of this level. I guess I can camp here, too. That way I pushed out a little bit more aggressively. Just a wee bit. I don't know if they have a shotgun, so I might as well... Oh, look at that. They have a shotgun. I fucking knew it, bruh. See, that totally looks like a fucking frag grenade. Like, well, I mean, it doesn't absolutely look at it, but... You know what I mean, man. It's hard to tell in the heat of the moment what that is. Alright, just to speed this up, let's just... I got plenty of shells. You know, this level... They know how much you need the fucking... Shotgun to get through these waves, so I appreciate... How merciful they are, even on Legendary about it. You know... I recently played through this entire game on Legendary again. It's like, what, my 20th time I've done that? And, uh, I noticed the Needler's actually a lot better than I remember it being. Like, it's, I mean, it's not great. Just on account of the fact that it doesn't, like, guaranteed kill targets. Like, it's not as good as it is in the other games, but, um... You know, it's not completely useless. It's actually pretty decent against the Elites as far as, like, poking them down. And I know this is kind of, this ain't exactly exciting to see the Sentinels do all the work for us, but, uh, I don't know what's up there, and this is the safest solution for the time being. And they're gone. So I'm just gonna hang out here. See what I mean with, like, the infection forms getting in the way? Oh, shit. That was a little too close for comfort. Because those guys can kill you very, very quick. If you let them close the distance, so to speak. And one interesting thing between, like, Halo 1 and Halo 2 is I noticed in Halo 1, the Needler tracks infection forms, but it ignores carriers. Where in Halo 2, it's the exact opposite of that situation. Alright, let's get the fuck out. That was an emergency situation, 100%.
I'm surprised at how dangerous it is just to get out of this fucking tunnel, to be honest. It's like the further I push in, the safer I want to play. Because I really don't want to fucking have to do any of this again. And I think it's safe enough to push out, I think. That is nice for clearing out the infection forms, though, if nothing else. Alright, we're safe there. Oh god, I hate these fucking hallways. Usually, I really like the contrast of how the monitor goes through these dark hallways, though. It's a lot less emphasized in the remake. Oh, shit. This looks sussy, man. Yeah, I remember dying many, many times on Legendary in this section. Run. Alright. Can we do it? And that's the first trap, is like they spawn in a bunch of combat forms. And then like carriers come from behind and just fucking trap you, it sucks. I didn't even lose any health yet, so that's a good sign right there. Uh, you kids suck, man. Get out of my face, bruh. You can tell how fucking crazy it is with that music, man. Man. <laughs> that motherfucker was cheating. He just knew I was coming. I hear something. That's a strategy I really like using. Oh shit. Dude, the same wave spawns again. What the fuck? Even on Legendary, these things don't actually deal that much damage, so it's not that bad to tank them out. The only time you should avoid doing it, really, is like if you're low on health or whatever. Is it safe yet? Alright. Okay, that's not really... Oh shit, there's a frag grenade there? What the fuck? Oh god, it's so cringe. <sighs> like that threat of death was so cringe, man. Now, apparently I got extra rockets somewhere. Alright, we're gonna back the fuck up because I don't want these things like messing around with my butt later. Aha, uh -huh, I knew there was a med kit here. Now, in these sections, there usually are rocket floods, so we gotta be careful again. It looks like there's another door, but it looks like it's opened, so it might not be too bad. I don't have any grenades, actually, which is quite bad. Come on, carrier, just pop, you piece of shit. God, that looks so heavy, that rocket launcher, man. Oh, 
Oh no, I remember this. This part's annoying because they like to poke at you from there. I always love the range on this uh, shotgun though, it's pretty dope. Now I'm actually running low on this shit, so that sucks. So I guess I'll switch over to the plasma rifle. Because it is more accurate compared to the assault rifle. Now if I find another... Actually, this wouldn't be a terrible option either. Oh shit, is this what I think it is? No, it's not. This isn't the part. Well, I'm not. The flood are fucking crazy, man. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, this doesn't really call for a rocket. And it is slightly nerve-wracking, I won't lie. Let's try this then. Come on, shotgunners, where are you? How about you summon more, uh, Sentinels, man? I mean, if the fucking Index is so important to you... You see that smoke? No, you can't. No. <sighs> see, I'm not fucking getting baited. You gotta be careful when you're, uh, reloading in this game, though. So here's another situation where I want to slow down. Just farm these shotgun shells. You really don't want to like... Oh god, that was so stupid. I didn't fucking realize that was a carry until the last second. more shells, that's cool. Ow, fucking rude, bruh. Thank god the Flood are too dumb to like throw grenades, wouldn't that be awkward? I to think of it, I guess that's one thing they could add in Infinite. I don't think bring back the Flood using vehicles though. I mean in Halo Wars 2 there ended up being a grave mind on the Ark, so... I guess it's always possible that they can go back to that interstellar or just intelligent phase. Wow. This is getting spooky, man. Oh god, come on. Alright, how far did it launch that shotgun? Okay, not at all. Thank god. Yeah, the spread on the shotgun is not as good as it might appear. Oh, no. Dude, did the flood just cut themselves? Give me an overseal, goddammit! I think we can... I guess it would make more sense to hide here. <laughs> you ready? 
I'm not. I hate you, Spark. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go here. Now, how this should work is as long as we don't fire our guns, the flood won't actually know we're in here. This is just a section where you're supposed to just hold out and wait for the flood. You don't actually have to kill anything to progress these doors. I'm just hoping no infection forms come over here. I mean, I maybe? I honestly don't remember if they aggro to you. And this is usually one of the hardest rooms. There's like two sections that are like this. And the second one, I believe, is like at the very end. Or it's very close. Yeah, we're just chilling. <laughs> just minding our own business. We can't fight them, ignore them. I mean, I pretty much like doing this with the flood on this level anyway. It's just, it's just fucking annoying. It's like, man, there's plenty of wave, wave management. I don't need this shit, too. And I'm gonna get, like, no sleep today, I can tell. <laughs> it's already 2 o'clock. I'm not even remotely ready to sleep. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, so please don't notice me. I think we're in the clear. Wow, that's exactly what I fucking need in my life, is missing two point blank shots like that. So we got a couple rockets to work with. Ooh, more shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. Gonna throw a couple grenades there just to be safe. Dude, how are there so many floods still around? That's bullshit. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I don't even think the Sentinels get any shields on this level. Now, I think this is the last elevator. I guess we'll see when we see the subtitles. They don't really try to cock block them too much on these elevator pathways, thankfully. Please tell me. Oh, thank God this is the last one. All right. So we really don't want to risk death here. Okay, how did that other one pop? What the fuck? Now what's funny about the carrier forms is they actually will pop the other infection forms, which is kind of redundant. It's still dangerous. And uh, worst comes to worst, maybe we can rely on that health kit over there. I think for the most part, this game does a pretty decent job as far as, like, hiding the spawns, although sometimes it's pretty obvious. Because sometimes you see them come out of nowhere, and it's like, okay, these guys are literally falling through the fucking ceiling. Like, that's the only way their spawns make any sense. <sighs> well, that guy killed himself. Oh yeah, I forgot that happens every now and then. I don't know why some flood fall to their deaths and some don't. It's fucking goofy. Maybe he took a little extra damage before he jumped down. He took a bad trade earlier. A shotgun, okay. Now, even though the reloading is pretty quick in this game, you can still get fucked over by, like, a bad reload timing. So try to be careful about it. Okay, 
Okay, just putting an extra shot in. I kind of wish they, like, brought back the flint being able to do that, actually. I actually want to get as many grenades as I can, so I don't want to pop one there unless I absolutely have to. Ow. Fucking rude. Okay, now it's starting to get a little sussy. That guy's gonna get up 100%. Like, if you're killing a flood from a distance with a shotgun then, generally speaking, they're going to come back up. It's so like, one of those two guys might come back up, but I was pretty close, so I guess it's not guaranteed. That guy will come up. See, watch. Okay, that guy came up. <laughs> I was sort of kind of right. I knew someone would get back up. Well, we're already to one of these. Alright. So far, so good. I just not- I just have to not throw or I'm gonna have to, like, stop and try this later. <laughs> Nothing will put me in a shittier mood, let me tell ya. Getting this close, only for it to in the end not even matter. I know I fucked up those lyrics, but I wanted the sentence to make sense, sort of, kind of. Is this it? This might- okay. Alright. We got here a lot quicker than I thought we would. Dude, that's fucking bullshit. That is a bullshit spawn. <laughs> I heard that and I was like, wait a minute, something doesn't seem right here. Oh shit. I'm not even in the fucking room and I have to put up with this shit. Thankfully, you can pretty consistently aggro them. Are you fucking serious? Dude, that left. That was fucking horseshit to the ends of the earth. Well, I don't know if this is exactly the spot I left off on, but it's probably really, really close. And I'm not even sure what to do about that. I mean, I. I guess I can, like, try to be more aggressive about, like, um, taking out the grenades. Wait, I think this actually is the part, because I recognize this fucking... Oh, god damn. I, I have a few grenades to work with. <clears throat> Let me just, uh, mentally prep myself here. Three in the morning. And I finally got back to this part. Let's see if I can get through it. God, I'm so fucking paranoid. There's no grenades here, right? Okay. Alright, and shred through those. Yeah, you just have to leave immediately. I think is the trick to that. It seems like as soon as you get out of uh, viewing distance, that's when they like to spawn in. I still- I'm doing pretty good on the shotgun shells. And all the grenades are over here. Yeah, as long as there's no grenades over here, I don't have to worry about it. Because that's really what caught me last time. 
And I don't think there's any more rocket launcher flood from here on out, as far as I remember. The bigger not be brought. Okay. You hear that fucking click? That's when they respawn. Okay. So I'm kind of curious how many times they're going to have me doing this specific maneuver. Hey, you ain't dead. Okay, there's a grenade there, so I'm going to pop it. Stay the fuck away. Man, that gun is having a blast. At least someone's having fun. Okay, are there any more grenades? I don't see any. I don't see any. Dude, this is such horse shit. <laughs> There's a grenade there? That is unfucking believable. Like where? How? I mean the fact that there was a checkpoint there is kind of a good sign. It seems like generally speaking. Not every time, but generally it seems like. Wherever there's a checkpoint, that means that the waves have kinda calmed down. Dude, there was probably a grenade, like, right over here. That almost fucking killed me right then. Uh. Alright. Here they come again. Oh Jesus, there's a grenade right there. <laughs> How many frag grenades? I can grab one more. Alright, let's do an, an investigation game raise. Let's see if there's anything over here. Only one way to know for sure. <clears throat> Please don't make- I just want to be out of these tight spaces, it sucks. Alright, I noticed there was one less carrier there, so maybe they're despawning now. That's a good sign. Okay, I didn't hear any gun clicking noise. That's good. I think it's done. But just in case. Well, that timing. <laughs> I did not plan for that. That was kind of epic. Actually, I'm going to stick with this. And hopefully get a replacement before too long. Okay, where the hell am I? I guess I'm over here. Yeah, 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 I'm all over here, that makes sense. Is there another overshield? No. That would just be too fucking merciful. I cannot believe the shit, man. I don't fucking trust this. <coughs> Dude, they're baiting me over here. See, I fucking knew it. Dude, imagine I push all the way forward, right there, and, uh... These carriers just go in on me as the combat forms are attacking me. 
It'd all be over, boys. It'd all be over right there. Uh, Alright. Hopefully another... I'm not gonna see another wave like that. Nice puke green. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, this tension. Okay, I got a nice corner to work with. I got plenty of time to kite him out, at least. Oh god. I am tryharding so hard now. I hope his fucking grenades don't ragdoll. That would be fucking tragic. Uh, I need more plasma. Oh, hey, what's up? This is looking sus, dude. Yeah, those are the lazy carriers. I don't want to go to work. God damn it, carriers, you had one job. And that is to blow. Aren't you a team player, carriers? Come on now. Is this the end? This might actually be the end. Like, this might be the very last door. I think this is actually the last door. That's cool. Oh yeah, this is the last door. Might as well aggro him from as far away as possible. What? Are you fucking serious? What kind of shit is that? Okay, that's weird. It's not even an anniversary thing. Okay. That's the first. You know, it should actually be smooth sailing from here on out as long as I don't get cocky and push out too early. Because I actually know one trick. It's a little risky. Like, I could potentially to my death sometimes, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Just gotta take these guys out, knock them out for good. And usually I think there are like infection forms stuck in the corner there. Maybe it didn't happen this time. But yeah, you don't want to go that way, because that will take forever. So what you really want to do is go this way. Oh, that motherfucker still wanted me, huh? Please don't die. If I can just reach up here. Alright, I think I'm... I think we did it. I just have to not fuck this up and die like a retard. I mean, I imagine it's quite hard to die from here. And maybe you can go all the way around from the other angle, but this is the safest route. This is pretty much all I do when I get to this part. And yeah, there's actually a skull here if you go out all this way. Eye patch skull. I think I already have it. I think you already start with all the skulls. So, whatever. Alright, that took, I think, like, four attempts, if I recall correctly. Well, actually, I guess technically I died off camera, too. So, technically, that's five attempts. But on camera, that's four attempts. Because I was trying to grind my way back to this part, to that last part I died, and, uh... It was at the very beginning, and I died super early because I was trying to rush through. 
And yeah, that concludes it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day.